Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to Injustice Gods Among Us, and we have new DLC. Also, my wife is with us, so she's an extra Yay. special guest. Thank you. And we're going to be doing Battle Tower with Scorpion. Unfortunately, the Red Sun Green Lantern stuff did not release right now, so... But uh, Scorpion's here. Eh, mixed feelings Scorpion. on Yay. that. Trying to think of how he fits into the DC universe. Oh, oh wait, he doesn't. doesn't. <laughs> well, let's take on Aquaman. Okay, so as Amber was saying, Finish him. Scorpion doesn't really fit in the DC universe. I mean, it looks pretty cool, but yeah. this is supposed to be a DC fighting game, not Mortal Kombat. But yeah, as you were telling me before, I guess it has to do with the creators of the game. Yeah, the creators, Ed Boon and Jim Lee, who's the head honcho at DC now, I believe he's the CEO, is a big fan of Scorpion, and wanted him in the game, and actually redesigned Scorpion, what we're seeing right here. Yeah, he does look different than what I was watching before. As, as you guys can see, Scorpion has his uh, teleport ability, although That's people can cool. still block it. Ah. Which, and of course, the old chain is back. Uh, he's not really burning. I guess he's not as powerful. Water shield. Eat fire shield. <laughs> and I'm not familiar with the combos. I, I take it he's not very powerful here in this game as he is like. Oh, in Scorpion! His Mortal Scorpion's a beast in this game. Oh, really? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. He's That's beastly. Cool. I just don't know any of his combos really. I know all his moves. Okay. I just can't execute a lot of his massive combos. We won't see a lot of juggling or anything. Uh oh. No, 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 no! Oh. Stupid Aquaman, your mean old shark. Yeah. Ah. Ah. I, I never gets old, oh. though. That's still one of the coolest things. Well, that's nice. They made him powerful. I would think they would have toned him down so he'd be like. Oh, he's the, he's the mascot of NetherRealm Studios, the developers of this game. Oh! Uh. Well, apparently fatalities are in this game. Kind of. That looked like it would hurt. Though, if Ouch. being skewered didn't kill you, the fall to the nether realm would. Yeah. Oh man, now we gotta kill Batman. Uh-oh. Please, please don't be a Batman I actually like. What I find really funny about the Injustice game and Scorpion's inclusion is one of the big things DC told, um... Ed Boon when he was making this game and when he did the last DC Universe vs. Mortal Kombat was there would be no fatalities. We don't want our heroes to be killed. Yet, Scorpion's ending screen, he totally yeah. kills you. But I, I guess I guess you could say it was kind of like the old Joker or other villains ending screens where they kill people. So he's kind of... It's kind of like the, he does the same moves as the villains, even though he's not really a villain. But why is he on the hero side? I know. Though? It doesn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, he definitely takes you down to the underworld there. It's kind of uh, disturbing. He reminds me of the, the, the gore and everything. Ugh. No, from what I've noticed though, Scorpion controls really well. I like playing as him. He seems like a combination of Shazam and Batman, and he's even. If you can do it. I know your move. As if that matters. Oh. Typical. That was pretty cool. Uh, I always lose the clashes. I hate that. Yep. I'm, uh. I'm kind of wondering as I'm watching this, like, whether... I mean, if Batman and, and Scorpion were really in a fight, you know. Who would, would win? win? <laughs> exactly. Probably Scorpion. Yeah. Well, I, it all depends. I mean, if Batman can... Scorpion is a very psychologically weak character, and if Batman could exploit that, then Scorpion's finished. And even younger Sub-Zero was able to beat Scorpion. So... It all depends. No, 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 no! Oh! Well, at least look at it this way, folks. It's just an Elseworlds Batman. It's uh, Insurgency Batman. So it's not THE Batman. Yeah. It's, well, but that Batman's dead. Deserved it. Thanks, Scorpion! Oh! <laughs> Now Scorpion versus Zombie, Solomon Grundy. Now this is an interesting match. The Spectral Ninja Ghost versus Comrade Undead Solomon Grundy, born on a Monday. Comrade Grundy. Well, he's using the red skin back. Burn! Burn in 18, the country. 
Burning Fist. Can't remember my combos. No! But, um, Scorpion... I don't... He was always my favorite character in Mortal Kombat, next to Sub-Zero. It was always those two characters I would alternate between. And then Mortal Kombat 9 screwed everything up, and the story is just horrible. It, it started out really cool. Raiden going back and trying to reset uh, past events with he must win. Um, but all my favorite characters end up getting killed in by Sindel. And Sub-Zero on top of that gets turned into a cyber ninja when he was supposed to become... No, 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 no hugs by Grundy. <laughs> when he was supposed to become... No, no, no. The um, Grand Master of the Lin Kuei. Bad Grundy. Bad. Yeah, I remember you watching that storyline and... I, I completely know. forgot I, about it, though. I tried to watch it with you, Super. but it was like a really bad... Oh, this mimics one of his fatalities. Kind of. Oh. Yeah, they could have made it cooler. Well, zombie loses against Spectral Ninja. Yeah. Actually, wouldn't it be ah. to the nether realm with you? I think so. Whee! Oh. Wow, oh, my butt. Scorpion hurt Grundy. Grundy, take nap now. <laughs> oh yes, Mander Woman faced the might of <laughs> Scorpion. Oh no. Seriously, if Scorpion can get a mask to cover his yeah, skull I... face, why can't she get like something to cover that up? <laughs> I knew you were gonna say something. I just... Well, she does look like a Mortal Kombat character. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She totally does now. It looks like Sunder Blade. Oh, but... oh, very nice. Yeah, as, pay I, for the how. As, as I was saying before, I think that that storyline—it was hard for me to watch it. Oh, it was very were, gruesome. And it was. And the acting was well, horrible. Yeah, it seemed like a really bad fighting Whee. soap opera. <laughs> it was just like the storyline was ridiculous. Mortal but, Kombat. But the first storyline of uh, the first Mortal Kombat game, I guess, with Scorpion in it. Up to Mortal Kombat Four, I would say cool. the story was interesting. This idea. Um, he started out just as a. Like as part of a ninja clan, yep. Or, and then uh, his clan got destroyed by Sub Zero's clan, the thought, Lin Kuei. Yeah. But it turned out it was Quan Chi in disguise. Yeah, that was kind of like, whoa, that was very intense storyline. Yeah, but like, like I said, Mortal Kombat 9 ruined everything because instead of becoming like Sub Zero, the second Sub Zero's eternal protector and friend, um, he doesn't really do anything. Sub Zero gets turned into a robot, and yeah, he beats Scorpion, weird. but they don't have like this, th they don't have yeah, any relationship. Like no closure. The, uh, well, didn't he become Scorpion, or Sub-Zero's brother's friend at some point, or? Sub-Zero became like the Grand Master and Scorpion became like really powerful. Yeah. But none of that ever happened now, because everything's been rebooted, and that's why I hate reboots, because reboots uh. suck. Except the gameplay was awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of reboots. Like the new 52, for instance. <laughs> Recently, they uh, actually killed Catwoman, supposedly. But wow. the interesting thing about that, yeah, they were like, oh, even though she technically died and got shot in the head by Professor Izo or whatever, um, she's still the star of her own book for the remainder of the year. And will have no relation to the Batman family. This was just in Justice League of America. It's like, really? You're going to do a cop-out so badly that... When Damien got killed in Batman Incorporated, he was killed in all the books. But Selina gets killed, she's just dead in that book. The rest of New 52, it's like it never happened. It's like, that is such a cop-out. Yeah. More reasons to hate the New 52, folks. Yes, burn New 52, burn! Yeah, how many different realities can you have? But I don't know. Uh, Scorpion, getting back to him, I, I mean, the character is just cool. You kind of think of him like a spirit of vengeance, basically. Oh, uh, crap. This is going to hurt. Oh, you missed. Um, He's like all these different souls of his clan and, and his sheer will to come back to life, like in Sub-Zero Mythologies on, I believe it was Genesis, um, was just cool. And the fact that his sole purpose for living was to get revenge on Sub-Zero because he thought that's who killed his clan and then when they did the Mortal Kombat Legacy series online and they kind of went into that and you really got to see Scorpion as a human and then him becoming like this spectral ghost to avenge his wife and family it really made me see Scorpion as not really that bad a guy 
Right. He's not like this evil dude he was portrayed in the Mortal Kombat movie or the first couple games. Yeah, he was actually you... a very, very awesome character. Makes you feel for him a little bit. Oh, definitely. Or understand his character. It's time for Bird Nose to be stabbed by the scorpion. No. Yeah, she's gonna die. But look at it this way. You got lucky. It's regime. Down. Oh, okay. Die, evil yeah, Elseworlds. Fuck. Ow. No, I... Uh, one, one thing I did find funny, after beating uh, Mortal Kombat 9 with either Scorpion or Sub-Zero, they make a reference to one of the Mortal Kombat games, Deadly Alliance, which was where Shang Tsung and Quan Chi killed um, Liu Kang and did a bunch of bad stuff. Mm -hmm. And they were the new Deadly Alliance after the fall of Shao Kahn. Um, when you win as Sub-Zero or Scorpion at their ending of their story, they team up to destroy anybody who attacks the innocent, and they became oh. known as the Deadly Alliance. Wow, that's pretty cool, actually. Okay. Instead of Sub-Zero becoming Noob Saibot after being killed by Scorpion. Uh-oh. That's really awesome idea. Ah! So Scorpion's great for dodging. He becomes kind of a good guy in the end. In that the Scorpion story was line. always really oh, okay. a good guy. That's it was cool. just, you had these two rival ninja clans. The Lin Kuei and the... I can never pronounce yeah. Scorpion. I can't pronounce either of the clans myself, so... Yeah, but he's definitely a favorite character of a lot of people, though. Oh, yeah, he's, I, he's a... Which is probably why they ended up putting him in the game. Just, well, he's, know. like I said, he's the mascot of Netherrealm, so... Ah, yeah. that makes sense. Uh, stop it, bird nose. Time for some burned chicken. Is that all you got? Bone crushing time. Say what? Get over here. Yeah. I was just thinking, oh, is, did he say that? Oh, he, he has okay. a couple different lines. He said, get over here, come here. Yeah, I've definitely heard that line before. They've changed from game to game. Originally, Ed Boon was actually the voice of Scorpion. Wow. Yeah. Way back in the day. I don't know if he still is. That is a voice modifier, so... Hmm. And him ripping off his uh, head and showing... Oh, no! Showing his skull. No, not Nightwing. But... Now, where was I again? Oh, yeah. Uh, his uh, thing about ripping off his face and showing his skull. That was a Mortal Kombat fatality, I believe, in Mortal Kombat 2. <laughs> Okay. It was when he first did it, and then he would, like, breathe fire on you and stuff. Because he is... He, he's not human. His eyes are, like, all ghostly. They're pure white. Yeah. Because he's not... I, I don't know. Maybe Ed Boon kind of made him, like, Legion a little bit. Like, where he's, like, this conglomerate of souls or something. But yeah, although Scorpion's real soul, or Hanzo or whatever his name is, is the dominant personality of the host of souls inside Scorpion. The, the guy who had his family killed and his oh, hatred right. of Sub-Zero. Ooh, I need to learn that Nightwing yeah. combo. That did, was pretty good. Did he ever end up, like, killing that guy who actually did kill his whole clan? Or? Um, in Mortal Kombat 4, I, like, uh, the rise of Chinook or whatever, he does trap Quan Chi in the Nether Realms and then tells Sub-Zero, the second Sub-Zero, that he will be watching him and, you know, he feels sorry for killing Sub-Zero's brother, because oh. he was tricked. Yeah. Because Sub-Zero didn't really kill his brother. And in Mortal Kombat 9, when Raiden tells him, you can have your revenge, just don't kill Sub-Zero, um, Quan Chi enrages him to kill him, and before Sub-Zero dies, he says, that is not me, I didn't do that. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, but... I remember watching that. Scorpion killed him anyway, with a classic Mortal Kombat fatality of the head rip with the spine thing. No, I don't want to kill Dick. Run away, Dick! Oh, no. <sighs> and it's the second ah. time Dick Grayson has died in Injustice. First time with Damien's baton and his head on a rock, and the second time with a sword through his gut. Thanks, Scorpion. Made me dislike you just a little bit. Because yeah, it's not Nightwing's day. Just off to my favorite character. Oh, no. I don't know, besides the Batgirl DLC... I'm really... Oh, I hate this character. I'm really liking how Scorpion plays. I'm, I'm getting very comfortable with his controls. I love his slide tackle, too. It's great. It's a nice uh, little tribute to Batman's, except... It kind of reminds me of Batman's um, slam attack in 
the DC Universe fighting game, where he would like go from side to side on the ground. Hey, he's definitely one of the coolest looking characters, you know. And that's saying a lot for a you know, superhero game. Well, again, Jim Lee redesigned him to work in the Injustice DC world. Yep. But I, I, I would really like to see Sub Zero in this game. If Scorpion's in here, you have to have Sub Zero, because they just, they're in every game together. Yeah. But I hated Cyber Sub Zero. I really did. I, I was so upset because Raiden like ruined Mortal Kombat. He turned it into this stupid thing. All the characters got killed, and who's left? You got the so-so characters from like Mortal Kombat four through. Eight? Nobody really likes all those characters. You're gonna have Frost replace Sub-Zero? Come on. Time to finish this, Billy. Yep. That was a move, uh, a fatality where he lifts his hands up in the air. And then he would just call fire down on you. Now he just throws spear things in you. Ouch. And Billy dies for the second time in Injustice. Yeah, exactly. It's a two for one special today. Oh. Oh, I feel so bad for Billy. But would he really feel pain at this point? I don't think so. No. Scorpion looks like Ghost Rider. I was thinking the same thing. I didn't want to say. The spirit of vengeance. He's got the chain and the skull. All he's missing is the cool motorcycle from Ghost Rider. And Ghost Rider was actually on TV a little while yeah, ago. Yeah. I liked I, the first movie. I just watched that. And I did like the first movie as well. The first movie was pretty good. I think it was on FX a few days ago. I caught it right before we recorded a bunch of um, Skylanders episodes. Yeah. That was an interesting day to record after watching Ghost Rider. Yeah. It was the night. Yeah, I watched the movie through. Yeah, I didn't want to say that because I didn't want to like diss on Scorpion. I didn't know which one you thought was cooler, Scorpion. Or, well, obviously you think Scorpion Scorpion's, is cooler. Scorpion's my favorite. I would love, I don't know, maybe this is an entryway for Scorpion and the Mortal Kombat cast to get their own DC comic. <laughs> then yeah. I guess technically they would work in that universe. That's one thing I was asking you Ugh. when I first saw him in Steam. I was like, wait, is he in the comics? Is he a DC character? And it's like, no. no so it, yeah, it makes sense. It's like... It, it's a Warner Brothers property. I mean, it's Warner Brothers and the and the whole Mortal Kombat versus DC. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat versus DC. Mortar. And Everybody down. Oh wow. Sinestro is actually kicking my butt. Netherlands Studios. Ow. I used to be able to throw flaming skulls. I miss those days. Oh come on, classic trip. I don't think so. Ooh, this is looking bad. Yeah, uh, I. It would be neat to have Sub Zero in here because he's kind of. I don't know. As long as it's the Grandmaster Sub Zero and not oh, that not crappy this, Cyber Sub Zero. Not these. I'm, let's finish this. Oh, you! I got you. It's over, son. Tag. You're tag. it. Ouch. Harsh game of tag there. Painful game of tag. How do you like me now? Hope you get oh. the point of that joke. Whee! Boom. One could say that was spine tingling. <laughs> hey, I leveled up. Really? I am now a level wow. 62. Sweet. He looks happy. He's smiling. Yeah, for a flaming skull guy. I have not lost yet. Wow, that's awesome. Score! Now it is time for Scorpion to face the evil diaper wearing Chancellor of Evil Superman. Yes. Time to get your diaper all messy. Ow. Yeah, it's intriguing who would really be more powerful. Well, Superman's vulnerable to magic, so. Uh, in fact, when Scorpion and Superman I didn't fought know that. in the uh, previous game where Scorpion fought DC characters, um, he was able to beat Superman because wow. he's a spectral force or an entity, and he was able to. Wow, Superman's really cleaning my clock. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. Come on, so, I'm a ghost ninja. Is Scorpion cooler in this Ow. game or in the Marvel versus... Marvel. I mean... <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Fail. Uh, and, Flame the, on. Uh, DC versus uh, Mortal Kombat, not Marvel. I didn't but. like some of the gameplay <laughs> in that game. I'm really liking how Scorpion handles in this. Like, a lot. His moves are so much cooler. It's... Uh, I wish Ouch. I could do a lot of those really awesome chain combos like I can with Batman and Nightwing, but 
Yeah, uh, you, will in, you will in time. He just came out, so. I don't know if I'm going to keep playing as Scorpion, though, because he's not a DC character. This just feels weird. It is. It's cool. It's an awesome crossover, but it just, it just feels, feels so like... awkward. Yes. No, I'm going to whittle you down to your second health bar, punk. The Twilight Zone. Weird. See, that's what everybody does ah. online with Superman. They always shoot their heat vision from afar. Well, oh. I'm glad Scorpion is here to take God. Uh, Oh. Evil Superman down a notch. Well, it would be amazing if I could actually beat Superman. Oh, because I, I haven't lost yet. No, no, you will not take what is rightfully mine. <gasps> what? I was already kneeling. You're just making me kneel twice. It's not cool. How is the sword staying on his back, by the way? I don't I really don't see know. that. There, there's no, like, um, he had a strap for his swords in the previous games. Oh, okay. They're, like, floating there. I still remember when Mortal Kombat characters first used weapons. That was actually a pretty cool addition. Oh, wow. I didn't even know they, they used to, so they used to originally just... Just use their fists and wow. legs and stuff like that. And then they incorporated weapon combat into the series. Made it a bit more bloody, I'm sure. I really stopped paying attention to Mortal Kombat after Deadly Alliance, though, because it just got way too weird. And after Mortal Kombat 9, basically went the same route as Mortal Kombat Annihilation, where everybody gets killed. Um, I, I guess they planned in Mortal Kombat 9 having Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade repopulate the Earth, because everybody's dead. Liu Kang got electrocuted <laughs> by Raiden. Sindel wiped out everybody, and then Quan Chi turned them into soul puppets of his. So it's like, yeah, it, I, I don't see how Mortal Kombat, other than its awesome gameplay, is going to continue the story, because it's it's horrible. Yeah. I, I even said originally, oh, I thought the story in Mortal Kombat 9 was better written than Injustice. I take that back. <laughs> I take that back wholeheartedly. Yes, burn person who yeah, wrote Mortal Kombat Yeah, at least I can Mortal keep Kombat track of the story of just Injustice. Now you die. I know what's going on. Yeah, it's just hard for me to keep track of all the different... Whee! I guess there's just two worlds, so like the Earth... Earth realm... Earth realm, and outer like, realm, uh, whatever realm. There's so many realms. Oh, okay. By, yeah. by Mortal Kombat 4, you learn how many realms are involved. I would quit, but... And there's I, rules for you have to have a tournament oh. if you're gonna like take, well, yeah, take over. Well, yeah, but then he just Mortal Kombat three was all about invading Earth anyway. So I mean, he kind yeah. of just broke they had the a, rule anyway. yeah they had a tournament in one and two, and then three was just the invasion of Earth. Wow. And four was I never understood what four was. It's not an official tournament either. That's pretty weird. Now it's over, Chancellor. Take that and your soiled diaper with you. To the Man of Steel premiere. So, um, in our last video, I asked you guys and gals too, how do you think Superman would shave? And uh, <laughs> I, I want to repeat that question for this video. Scorpion doesn't need to shave because he's just a skull. But how would the Man of Steel get rid of his <laughs> his stubbles? Oh. Ah, oh, man, that is the age-old question. I'm curious ah. to see how what Scorpion's story is. Yeah, you're. Oh no. Yeah. There we go. The fool in the red cape had been dealt with. Now Scorpion would learn how he came to this place. Heretofore, only the sorcerer Quan Chi or the fallen elder god Shinnok had Shinnok. summoned him. Scorpion's answers appeared in the form of Trigon, Trigon? who accused Scorpion of deserting Trigon's demon army and stealing from him the glory of besting the High Counselor. The two faced each other in a titanic struggle. Scorpion emerged the victor and okay. assumed control of Trigon's invasion force. Okay. Soon this strange new land would be his to rule. Wow. So Scorpion took down Trigon, which took the entire Teen Titans and almost the Justice League the best. Yeah, I'd wow. say uh, Scorpion is OP. He's definitely overpowered in this game. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I from. Scorpion's pretty cool in this game. Um, I say give him a shot. If you have season pass, then you already probably have Scorpion by now. Um, but I think he is 4.99. Don't quote me on that. If you don't have season pass, I definitely like him better than Lobo. But my favorite DLC character is definitely Batgirl. She was really, really awesome. 
Great moves, easy to do combos, great way to chain in attacks. Uh, Scorpion, if you're not familiar with the past Mortal Kombat games, you should probably become so because a lot of his moves and the way that he moves and things like that is very similar to his past incarnations. Hey, cool. Yeah, I liked Batgirl too. Batgirl was awesome. But anyway, gamers, uh, that's going to wrap up another Injustice video. Uh, I'll be in California next time, so Yay. if there's DLC that comes out, I won't be able to cover it. But anyway, uh, seriously, Goodness. how do you think Superman would shave? I really want to know in the comment section below. And if you want another Injustice video to watch, we just posted our couples vid. And you can see it in the link below. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch, and we'll see you in another DLC video. God bless and happy gaming. Thanks for watching. See ya.